Conservative media viewers, what's going on? It's me, John D. Villarreal, the four-time national champion, the super genius. Now, check this out. Google released a video on YouTube about their Project Glass. And I believe this is from the Google X Labs. Maybe I'm getting that a little bit wrong. So believe me, I'm going to put all kinds of stuff in the description. And I will also annotate to the actual video of this. It's absolutely incredible. I'm very excited about this. As you guys know, I absolutely love technology. I absolutely love science. I've been involved in these things all my life. All that plus I'm a super genius. So you know that. And, you know, this, so this video is very interesting here. Now, this basically falls into... I'll talk about that in a second. This basically falls into sort of um, hands-free computing or uh, you know personal computing, uh, mobile computing, that type of situation. So I'm not talking about a laptop or anything. I'm talking about a pair of glasses, sort of a wearable glasses, if you will, that gives you a heads-up display as you're walking and stuff. It's very cool, very futuristic, looks very sci-fi. I, I love it. And um, what was very interesting about this is you could do a lot of different things. It, it seems to work with Google+. Plus. You seem to be able to interact with that social networking site. Also, it can help you with Google Maps. So you're going around, navigating different places. It seems to also give you some sort of real-time information, um, which is also very cool. You can take pictures. There's uh, music that can play through it, mobile conferencing, video conferencing. It's very impressive. You know, I, I'm really excited about this. Now, I believe they showed a prototype so when is this coming to market? What will it look like? What will it be like? I'm not sure, but I think that this is clearly in my personal opinion. And first of all, it's all my personal opinion, only knowledge. In fact, not casting aspersions, all for entertainment purposes only. Please check disclaimers. I think this kind of thing is definitely the future. These are the kind of, and also it was, it seemed to be um, voice activated, and maybe I'm getting that wrong, but people want technology that they can use that goes with them and can obviously enable and enhance their lives and, and, and the information that they're trying to I interact with there and people obviously love in my personal opinion love the web and this gives you a lot of functionality in a very compact and wearable uh, form factor so I just think this is just absolutely awesome and you know they showed uh, this this gentleman sort of waking up, going through his day, walking through New York, interacting with friends, you know, doing different things like that. <laughs> I will, I know, now, I will say when they were doing the thing in the bookstore there or whatever, or just even just 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 walking around when he first met his friend, it would, would have been, to me, and okay, maybe I'm a little bit of a geek on this situation, but the whole Project Glass sort of form factor to me looked like a Dragon Ball Z, uh, aka DBZ, for those that are cool in the know, uh, a scouter. <laughs> and they're just, how cool. I I understand this is like a big thing for for Google and it's all corporate and you have to do it right but I'm sorry like how awesome would it have been if he just would have just done a little Easter egg type of wink and a nod type of thing and when he saw his friend if he just would have said it's over 9,000 that would have that would have been like just off the chart. I mean, I would have lined up and ordered one right now and all that stuff. I'm sure I'm still going to try to you know get one, my hands on one of these when they are available. Look, this looks awesome. And I want to know what you think about this. Do you like it? Do you not like it? Do you think that it's functional enough? What kind of, if they were available, what do you think the right price point is? Do you feel like this is where the future is going and technology is going? Or do you think that they need something a little bit different? Um, how is this going to compete? with let's say a smartphone. Obviously there are similar you know, types of functions there, being able to take calls, being able to take pictures, interacting with like Google Plus and, and different you know, internet, stuff like that. But being able to do it hands-free, I think is really, really cool. And, and I, I do feel like this opens up a lot of possibilities. So how do you feel about that? You know, sort of this Google Glass versus let's say a smartphone or other types of technologies. Where do you feel like the technology is going to go? Do you think that this is the right form factor and the right direction or do you feel like another form factor is the way to go or are you already satisfied with the kind of things that we have with the smartphone and stuff i think that you know there's a there's a definitely advantage here in that you can have it hands free it is mobile and it goes with you in a very sort of to me it seemed like a much more seamless way as someone who's been involved in technology pretty much all their lives stuff like that to me there's a number of critical factors 
that I'm thinking about when it comes to something like this. Number one, how many people will be comfortable with this form factor? Whether, you know, maybe they already have glasses and they have to have, you know, prescription glasses. Will this technology be able to integrate with their existing glasses that they're wearing? Or will people who wear glasses be sort of excluded from this type of technology? Number two, from a sort of um, personal preference and fashion, you know, standpoint, w will people, uh, be comfortable using this technology, you know, do, i.e., do they want to wear sort of uh, a glasses form factor for their technology? The other question is, what about the price point? Is the price point going to be attractive enough for, yeah, it's a typical you know, business question, for most of the market? And I think the third thing is, how many other sort of uh, functional technologies can they put into this platform? Are, are there ways to make it even more useful and even more sort of compelling? So, you know, I, I, to me, this is definitely something that's very interesting. I'm not totally sold yet. You know, I'm kind of a little bit on the fence. I see some things here that clearly make sense to me as far as where the future of technology is going to go. At the same time, I have some questions and maybe some hesitations. I'm absolutely impressed and total kudos to Google, the Project Glass team, everything like that, because I think that you've, they've done a lot. I think they've broken some incredible ground here. But obviously, you know, look, this is a prototype, so we have to see where, where it all goes. So as a technology project, totally fascinating. As a, um, a business ready for market product, I, I don't know yet, but I am totally fascinated about learning more. And I definitely think that these are the kind of things that Google should be doing in my personal opinion. What do you think about it? I wanna hear from you people right now. Give me the comments below. Please subscribe above. I'm John DeValero, the four-time national champion and the super genius. You're watching Conservative New Media. Please rate this video up. Also, please post it to your social networking sites. You're watching Conservative New Media. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.